So good afternoon. I'm Julie Sardos. Uh, I'm genetic resource associate scientist working for Biodiversity International. And I will present you an overview of our work on uh, studying the diversity of banana. So you already understood that uh, banana is not only the Cavendish type that you find in the supermarket. There's a lot of different bananas. And if you uh, travel around the world, you will see them. So for example, you have plantain that you cook in West Africa. You can find also uh, in East Africa the East African Highland banana that are used to produce traditional drinks, the banana beer that you heard about earlier. <laughs> if you are going to West Indies, there's a lot of plantation of commercial bananas, Cavendish ones. If you go to Asia, you can find different types of dessert banana, and you have many, many more. So to help the ITC achieving its mission to conserve the uh, entire banana gene pools for current and future generation and make it available for use, uh, the, um, the researcher, uh, we need to, to understand exactly the extent and the composition of the diversity of banana around the world. That's why uh, for 30 years, uh, researchers working with the ITCs are uh, massively contributing to the study of banana diversity. But this is a big task, and we are not doing it alone. Uh, so we are coordinating a network uh, involving uh, 60 national institutions, representing 100 researchers. And all together, uh, this network is Musanet, and all together we are working in synchronizing, harmonizing, and making more efficient the conservation of banana genetic resources. So in concertation with these partners, and when necessary, we organize collecting missions. So during the past four years, we've been two times to an unexplored region of Indonesia. And more recently, we went to Bougainville at the east of Papua New Guinea uh, with a colleague from the Botanical Garden of Maize residing in the back row. Uh, each time during this collecting mission, we are looking for new or endangered uh, uh, bananas that could be safeguarded here in Leuven in the ITC. Uh, to be able to efficiently conserve banana diversity, you need also to harmonize the description of banana. Because we need to be sure that a researcher in Africa, talking to a researcher in South America, uh, uh, is exactly describing in the same way the bananas. So uh, we have developed uh, standard descriptors for bananas that are constantly improved. And more recently, uh, we have de developed a mobile app that is named Musatab, uh, which is used to uh, digitally record the description of banana uh, in the field on a tablet. We are also training um, the partners of the network. So we already have the trainings. Uh, we train researchers in Africa, in Asia, in West Indies. Um, and we are, another part of our work is the banana genetics. Uh, so we are studying the structure and function of uh, the DNA of banana uh, using the latest technologies uh, of the genetics and bioinformatics tools. And for the moment, we have produced uh, DNA sequence data for 35% of the accessions of the ITC, which represents more than 500 uh, accessions and is the biggest data set of that type for the crop. So this data set uh, will be used to uh, locate the genes that are responsible for uh, resistance to certain disease or uh, for the tolerance to drought, for example. And currently, we are working in understanding uh, the, 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 how the gene uh, allows to produce banana fruit without seeds. Uh, it's a very important trait for consumers uh, because seeds of banana are very hard and if you um, add a strong bite on it, you can break your teeth. So it's already happened to me in Indonesia once. So for consumers, this is very important. <laughs> uh, this information is uh, it's, uh, very valuable for ITC users who want to order varieties. They need to have access to this information. So Ines already talked about the Musa Germplasm information system uh, because you can order the material there. But you can also access uh, description. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to access uh, easily this information. 
so you go to the system, it's uh, easy access, it's an online portal, and you can see the number of the accession, its name, taxonomy, you can have access to different types of uh, pictures, not in the tubes, in the field, which is much more informative for users. Uh, you have descriptors, modalities, you can access the DNA data sets, and you can also access um, the scientific literature linked to the accessions. So now to conclude, I'd like to tell you a banana story. Uh, it happened when we were in Bougainville three months ago. Uh, we arrived in the central part of the islands, uh, who unfortunately was victim of an earthquake yesterday. Um, and it was, we arrived in the territory of the tribe of the eagle, and they told us the legend of their tribe. So quickly, I will tell you the legend. So a long time ago, a giant eagle living on a hill was killing all humans around. So people were hiding or dying. And at one point, only one woman was remaining in the village in the valley on the hill. But she was not alone. She had a banana plant with her. And the banana was named Navente. And the banana and the woman together, they had two sons. So here you imagine what you want. I'm not responsible. <laughs> but the two sons were trained to fight. And once grown up, they climbed the hill, they killed the giant eagle. And the people were able to come back to the village. So after that episode, the woman and the sons, they turned into sacred stones. And if you walk in the hill, you can still find them. But Navente is a banana plant. It was planted generation after generation, and you can still find it in the tribe. And this is the plant that you can see here on the right. I don't know if I can do now. So the plant on the right is Navente. And when we arrived to the tribe and talked to the lady standing near the plant, uh, Josephine, uh, we explained who we were, we were and what was our mission. And she asked us to take Navente, because Navente produced only one or two fruit. So nowadays it's, became, it's becoming rare, and she was scared that it would be lost. So she asked us to take it. So I really like this story for two reasons. The first one is that really it shows that our work is not only important for researchers or breeders, but also for farmers. And the second one is also because it reminds us that the ITC is not only a bank for genes, it is also a potential depository for cultural objects, and that with the diversity of banana, you also have a lot of pieces of human history that are conserved here in Leuven. So thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>